No threats of a government shutdown, no sequester, and certainly no polar vortex. Yeah, the unemployment numbers that came out Friday for April were finally free and clear of the main influences of late. The economy clearly is gaining some steam in April, much stronger than the already strong forecast, 288,000 jobs added, and the unemployment rate dropped to 6.3%. Here's Brent Schutte, the senior investment strategist for BMO Global Asset Management. Now, those numbers look great for a headline, but your specialty is look behind the numbers. Tell us some of the things that you see. Sure. Before I talk about what I see, I, I want to just pat myself on the back a touch. Um, you know, I had, I had mentioned in 2013 at the end that the economy was going to be accelerating, that employment was going to start growing faster than what it did in 2013. And I got polar vortex and I felt pretty bad. And so now it's actually given some validation to the fact that the economy as, is actually strengthening. You've seen revisions in the prior months and it looks like things are getting better. The important things that I see are about three things. One, the participation rate came down. That's a concern. Two, average hourly earnings were flat. That's a concern that we can talk about. And three, government now, which is not a concern, which is actually a decent thing for short-term economic growth, government is no longer drawing down um, workers. And so you actually saw government adding um, to the economy. In fact, the number of government workers had dropped to something like the lowest level in several administrations. Right. You've had a big drawdown in government employees for the last couple of years. Um, government has actually subtracted from economic growth in the U.S. Uh, and now you actually have it kind of turning around. Now, talk a little bit about that participation rate. That's perhaps the main reason that it dropped to 6.3%. Sure. You, you mentioned uh, the, the free of every type of uh, thing that is out there. And unfortunately, economic data is never free and clear. Um, the Easter holiday fell during the survey week. And so what the labor force uh, uh, employment number does is they go out and they telephone people and they say, are you searching for work? If you're not searching for work, you've dropped out of the labor force. That survey week falling during Easter, Probably people weren't out looking for work during that. They may have said no because they were actually focusing on getting their Easter turkey ready or whatever yeah. it may be. Then. Now, there's some sectors, particularly construction, where there's a huge demand right now for workers. Sure. One of the things that we've talked about is um, some sort of structural unemployment, meaning that there's some people who aren't coming back into the labor force. That has a big implication for the economy. I guess it ties back into my average hourly earning comments because as there's less labor slack, average hourly earnings should go up. And you're starting to see that, hopefully. It was flat this month, but we're thinking we're going to start seeing that in the future. There was an article in the Wall Street Journal on Friday that mentioned construction workers and how they're in shortages. And it noted that over February, from February 2014 to February 2013, their incomes or their wages had gone up 6.3%. And so now that's at the front of the economy. You may start seeing that filter through the rest of the It's economy. absolutely a bellwether. Brent Schutte, thanks so much. Thank you.